Thinking of selling your house? You might want to listen to this message. Hey everybody, Scott Walters, welcome to the channel. If you're new, I want to thank you for coming. If you're returning, I want to thank you for your continued support. Before we get into today's red hot topic, I'm going to politely ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please watch to the end for my final thought. Hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos are released. It is very important to stay close to the channel in these very very tricky times. All right, folks, welcome to the channel. It's always an honor and a privilege to be with you. I hope you're all doing great. Buckle up and strap in. I got a hard hitting pull, no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows and sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. And friends, you need to hear this. There is the, <laughs> if there's never been a more important time to know the truth than right now, we are seeing inventory flood into the market it is reversed, it is flipped, reverse course, reverse FOMO from buyer side to seller side. It's here. Everything we've reported on has happened. Everything we've predicted has in fact happened and it'll continue to happen. Listen, friends, I'm cutting through the chatter. I'm giving it to you and I'm giving it to you straight. I'm not sugarcoating it. I've seen this movie before. Booms and busts in the real estate market, we've always had them. And we've just went through not just any boom, an artificially produced boom to a crisis. Heavily stimul stimulated economy, overstimulated economy. And now we're suffering the blowback with runaway inflation in a risen interest rate environment. This only ends one way, and I hate to say it, a downturn. It's either runaway inflation is a slow motion race to the bottom, or rising interest rates is a fast race to the bottom. Take your pick each way it comes. So if you're selling real estate right now, you need to listen up. You need to listen up fast. You need to listen up hard. There is number one thing in real estate. Number one thing. There, I shouldn't say that. There's many things, but we're going to start with my number one thing you have to do anytime you're selling real estate. Now, the euphoria is over. Those times have come and gone. You can just wait bye bye, gone, over. Now it's all about price. And if you chase the market, you come on some agent shows up to the house and says, I've run the comps and based on your, the, current, the current comparables and recent sales, it shows your house is in this value range. You're worth from whatever. We'll just pick 900,000 to $1 million. Oh yeah, put me on for a million because I got a bigger lot, better finishes. My neighbor just sold for 1.1. I need to be put on the upper end of that. Okay, sir, we will do it. We will do it. We'll put you on for what? The market is trending the other direction for me. And I'll walk away from this thing because that's just me. I don't need it that bad. I'm going to say, listen, sir, the current, the current prices, recent sales show your, mar your property, if we sold right now today, which we can't get you on the market right now today, we need to do photos, open houses, a lot of, it'll be weeks before I get you to the market. If I was able to put you on right day, it says today, it says you're worth 900,000 to one million dollars. If I put you on on the upper end of the price range, how many people do you think are going to race over to your house to see it? How many people would race over to see a property that hit the market at the top of its price range? This many. Open houses are virtual ghost towns now. The only way I can get every eyeball in town is come on the lower end, the very lowest end, the 900,000, that is your price. And by the time I get you to market, we might have to reevaluate because it could be 850. Do you still want to sell your house, sir? How bad do you need to sell your house? Because if you need to sell this house, you're going to get stuck on the market showing price reductions. If you go through, go with some agent that promises you the world, puts you on the upper end because you set the price and they let you do that over their professional opinion, do you want that? That's how serious it is. I hope you understand that, friends. I'm giving it to you and giving it to you straight. So please understand that strategically priced, price right, price your property at the lower end of its price range. If you're competing, because chances are you got some competition. I always say, know who your competition is. Once you know who your competition is, beat them. You have to beat the competition. How bad do you want to sell your house? If you want to sell your house bad, you will take this advice. If you don't care, stick it on the top of the price range and see if you can get some sucker to buy it. Otherwise, to sell it right now in a risen interest rate environment on the front end of a recession with runaway inflation, heed to the warning, my friends, heed to the warning. That's number one, you gotta price right. Number two, if you don't price right, you're gonna show for price reductions, which, are the, which is the kiss of death. Because most, even people without an agent today that are browsing in the internet, we mean, we've been talking about this, covering this. We see you going through price reductions. And what's that show? Weakness. Shows that you can't, like greedy and you came on the market too high and you're stuck 
on the market. We see this, especially from the brand new construction builders, which are about to crash your home values if you're just a regular owner-occupied house. New construction that's sitting there empty has to liquidate, and they're about to drag our prices down along for the ride. So you have to understand, once we start seeing price reductions occur, we know that we're definitely not coming in and, and writing full price offers. Those times have come and gone. In fact, if we're gonna write an offer, we're gonna write a significantly under asking price to get see if we can get you into negotiations. If you refuse our offer, great, we'll move on to the next one. You know what I tell my clients every time I show them property in this climate? Don't fall in love with anything I show you. Don't fall in love. But Scott, we really love that. Don't fall in love with it. Otherwise, they got us. They got, are you rich? Are you wealthy? Are we paying all cash? Do you have billions of dollars? Because if you have billions, let's fall in love with this house. If, are you trying to make a smart decision buying real estate, forward thinking, critical thinking, maybe climb the property ladder, start with this house and eventually move into a really good house? Would you like to become rich in real estate? Oh, that's not you. Okay, well, fall in love with it. Let's go write some offers. That's what I'm geared to do, friends. Most agents, now you're lucky. I will say this for most sellers. Most agents don't think like me. They're out there trying to FOMO in these buyers. Oh, isn't this a great house? I love it too. I think we should come in with a serious offer. What? You're fired. Get me Scott Walters. Listen, friends, this is business. This is the biggest purchase of your life. Really? Do you want to do it out of FOMO? So sellers, it's flipped. Understand that. Agents are starting to have to work harder and a lot like this agent if i'm take uh, you if let me just like we talked about if you come on the market at the top of the market you're done you're, you're going to go through price reductions and i'm going to see your cracks and most decent agents are going to see that too they're going to go to their clients yeah they've gone through several price reductions i've talked to your the other side's agent they're very motivated i say we take them an offer of this they're not giving you even your most recent price reduction reduced offer you're not getting it so you may as well come on the market under market value do you see what i'm telling you today sellers listen here's the deal let's cut to the chase what you need to know is you need to price right right out of the gate and every day that goes by the market is softening so you may as well price in some price reductions find out who your competition is and beat it typically all you have to do is find out it's its value range, find the lower end of that value range and go under it by a few percent. Make sure you have everybody in town beat. Why? Because every buyer that's even left, if there's any in your town, will come look at your house. That's how you get them over to the house. Once they, you get multiple people over at the house on an open house or tour date, and they see other people on the property, it creates the urgency. That's why we saw the FOMO and the buying herd mentality. When you walk onto an open house with a line out the door of people trying to get in there and offers going great, it was all FOMO driven. If it's a ghost town and you can't get anybody even to come over to the open house, it shows there's no interest in the open house. Nobody wants to catch a falling knife and write an offer on the house. You need to stimulate the house. You need to get every eyeball in town. And there's less eyeballs out there ready to do it. I'm just trying to give it to you and give it to you straight. And final thoughts. I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, somebody trying to not only help you win in real estate, win in life, forward thinking, critical thinking, looking for the cracks, reading between the lines, acknowledging the elephant in the room. <sighs> keeping you out of the punch bowl, understanding the climate that you're in, the waters that you're swimming in. This is the perfect storm from an overstimulated economy due to a crisis that's now having blowback. You're living in that. This, this is the real, real estate channel, but this is much bigger in real estate. For me to help properly help you, I need you to understand everything, every dynamic. This comes down to the psychology of people and the psychology of sales and people aren't comfortable overpaying for anything in this climate. Please make sure you're in the right hands. If you need help being in the right hands, there's an email in the description for you. I have a network of top rated agents in the nation that could probably assist you. Again, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm always going to give it to you and give it to you straight because I want you after the sale of your property purchase or sale us to have a healthy relationship. I want to be the hero. I want to be the knight in shining armor, not the guy that over promised and under delivered. 
If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Social media links are in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there, along with links to channels I've appeared on. I think you might enjoy it. If you're interested in buying or selling real estate here in America, there's an email in the description for you as well. A network of top rated agents in the nation ready to assist you. And if you're watching from your television set today and you appreciated this video, I think you're going to love the next video. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make it count today. I will see you on the next video.